Welcome back. Warframe's expansion, Planes of Eidolon, is launching anytime now. But definitely this week, according to the devs. This is a big and daring update for Digital Extremes, the developers behind Warframe. Planes of Eidolon introduces an open-world aspect to the game. As a player, instead of being stuck in your ship, going directly to missions and coming back, the new area will be an explorable area for you and your squad. So now, your ship is your base of operations. In this area, the world will be, can be, your base of operations. Now keep in mind that this is not an MMO type world deal where you will always see other players around you outside of designated zones. It will be like it is now. Unless you group with other people, you will be solo. To access the zone, don't worry. All you have to do is complete the tutorial Vor's Prize. That's it. Once done, you can access the new area. The deeper you go into the zone, the more challenging it becomes. Every 100 minutes of daylight, there will be 50 minutes of dangerous nighttime. During the day, you will fight the Grenier, and at night, you will fight spectral sentients, which are called Eidolons. But uh, you will need to group to battle those. <laughs> Even the Grenier hide from them. You can fly in the zone with your Archwing. I just opened the Archwing thing and uh, wasn't wasn't really feeling it all that much. But they said that they've reworked movement. So it's supposed to be much smoother. So getting around the zone and fighting is going to be a more rewarding and smoother experience in uh, the expansion. The focus system has been revamped and allegedly Zeneric is still good and Vazarin is awesome. But you're going to get your points refunded. So look forward to that. The new faction for the game is called Ostrons and the zone is set in a town called Setus and there will be the familiar missions New mods to pray RNG gives you, uh, weapons to craft and mine for, uh, so that you can craft and you can trade and buy in that new Warframe Gara. She has made glass sexy and deadly. Another big change coming this week. Earning in-game loot by watching Twitch streamers. I'm a little, uh, on this one. But by connecting your Warframe account with Twitch, when streamers earn achievements in-game, those watching when the achievement is earned will get a reward ranging from cosmetics to prime gears, which is nice. But I'll tell you what my problem is with this in a minute. If you watch a streamer for an hour, you get a wisp totem. When you watch a partnered partnered, note that word, partnered streamer when they earn By the Dawn's Early Light achievement, you'll earn the Tearless Sigil. Now, let's be clear here. You can watch a regular person playing the game and get the rewards from Cosmetics to Prime Gears. You can watch a regular streamer, anybody playing a Warframe, and get the Wisp Totem. You have to be specifically watching a partnered streamer to get the sigil. Really? Did you hear that? Every time I try to record, my cats decide that they want to get it on in the middle of my video. You hear that? You hear? That's me spraying water. Because... Their timing, it's like when I decide to, I talk all the time, all throughout the day, but at night when the house is quiet and I'm talking, it's like my voice sets the mood 
And my cat Taylor decides, okay, it's time. So I apologize for that. Now, now, what was I saying? Oh, the partnered streamer. So the only thing that you have to worry about on getting the sigil is if a partnered streamer gets the achievement. You have to be watching when they get the achievement. Okay, here's my problem. All the partnered streamers are going to be in game at the very beginning launch you know busting out these achievements going through the uh content so that they can show it to you so what about all of the people that come in after that you're gonna have to you know sort of sink your time to find a new partnered streamer to get this achievement and then you know, there's, I, I like the idea of being able to get in-game loot. That's cool. But do you want me to watch a streamer or do you want me to play the game? You see what I'm saying? So basically what I'm going to be doing is so that I can get my ink because, you know, I'm a loot. I'm into my loot. I'm going to have a tab open in the back with the volume off so that I'm logged in so that I can get my loot but I'm not going to be paying any attention to the stream because I'm going to be in game playing it my damn self and here's the thing so these streamers are going to be talking to people they're going to see this view count and this view count isn't going to mean a thing because there's going to be a huge amount of players that are just in the stream of their favorite person, you know, or whoever is streaming at the time, just to get the loot. It's not about the stream. It's about the loot. You see what I'm saying? So that's where my issue with that is. Um, but, you know, I, I support them giving away some of the stuff outside of it's also worth noting that if you attach your Warframe account to an Amazon Prime account, right now, you will get Frost Prime for free. And some other stuff. But Frost Prime is a badass frame. Get on that. Coming with Planes of Eidolon, the Soma Prime Assault Rifle, and the Sindo Prime War Axe is coming. Now, I did something I never do. I, I actually connected. I can't, I couldn't believe I did this. I connected my accounts because I wasn't feeling it at first. I refused to attach my Twitch account to my Amazon. I refused to do it because I'm like, you're not going to track me, blah, blah, blah. And then they said Frost Prime. And I was like, that's when I knew I was sort of hooked on Warframe. So I connected my account and I am having so much fun leveling up Frost Prime. Now, keep in mind, for you new people like me, Soma Prime is mastery locked to level six. I'm almost level four, so I've got work to do, but it will be in your inventory when you're ready. Soma Prime is a highly sought after weapon. It's supposed to be a really good weapon. So it's something for you to consider. Now, I'm looking forward to the release, and I've been prepping for it. I've been talking about it. And I've decided that with the release dropping so soon to update and upload the new content outside of this video, rather than all of this other stuff that I was recording, it completely blew my release schedule. Because that's what people want to see. They want to see the new stuff. And it's dropping any day now, and I've got, you know, stuff to level for. Now, it is going to be very challenging to pull myself out of the game. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. To edit and, you know, videos. But I've been recording this whole time. I'm looking forward, once I have more mastery rank, to playing with you guys. If you play Warframe, hop on Discord, you know, play in the game and have some fun. Now, I'm going to be honest because, uh, you know, I keep it real. Time to be real here. And uh, I have some concerns. Now, keep in mind, this is my first time being here on launch day. But with 
My first concern, outside of the thing that I just mentioned about the Twitch, do you want people to play the game or watch others play the game? Is it dropping randomly with little notice? That means that there's no pre-download options, so there could be queues, lag, etc. I mean, it usually doesn't work when you have a whole bunch of people coming into one spot at one time. And there's going to be a lot of people that normally may not play Warframe that are now interested in Warframe because of this new open world aspect. So we'll see. But like I said, this is my first time. So I don't want to condemn, but I'm concerned. I'm just being honest. The second thing is, is that I thought initially they were releasing it as a surprise because it was done, but it's not done. They're still polishing it up. So I'm concerned about bugs and upcoming patches to fix them. How smooth will this release be? The other thing that I have a concern about is... Now, obviously, in my opinion, this was a push to release before Destiny 2 releases on PC. And there is some competition between the two games, but Destiny 2? Uh, well, let's be real. It hasn't gotten the best reviews. My concern is that Digital Extremes is rushing this release to compete with something that really isn't worth worrying about. And it may have been better to take the time. But then again, it may all work out well. Time will tell. But it would be remiss of me not to mention anything. That is one of my pet peeves. Um, releases are rarely butter smooth. Okay? But I always want to be the type of person that I can like something, I can love something, and I can still be objective about it and honest about it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not one of those people that love something so much that you will never see me voice my concerns. Or I will completely negate concerns because I love something so much. No, that it doesn't work like that in time's world, okay? In my world, I always want to be able to uh, be trusted. And you can't trust somebody that loves something so much, they're not honest with themselves, let alone you. So I've mentioned my concerns so far, and hopefully they're nothing. And if they are something... Let's hope that the devs continue to work with the community when they get honest, constructive criticism to, you know, come to a compromise so that it's a win-win situation for everyone. So I do hope that everything goes smoothly, but um, no, I'm not one of those that I'm not going to be overreacting, but I'm also going to prepare you guys for what honestly may happen. And what honestly may happen is that hopefully a whole bunch of people are going to get in the game, but that may cause, you know, congestion within the first couple of days of release. So I'm just letting you know that. Okay, I have to get back into the game now because um, I'm only Master Rank 4 and Soma Prime is Mastery Level 6. And I don't think I can, I honestly don't think I can make two ranks without losing some of the absorption that I have. When I go into a new zone, like I went into, oh my god, I went into uh, the zone, the, the void, and it's got all these gold, I mean, lots of gold and pretty building, and you know, it's like, you know, these, these mobs are always on you, and it's like, would you leave me alone so I can look at the view and... You know, I have to get all the loot, so I don't know if I'll be able to get to six by the time uh, Eidolon drops. I'm going to try, though. I'm, I'm going to try, but I go in the game and I immerse myself in it as a noob. Um, I don't want to rush because I know as I become a veteran, I'll be one of those that hop, skippy jumps through everything. So there's time for that. So for me right now, I'm going to go in and admire all of the scenery and you know going to a new area and it's 
You know, you go from the Grenier grungy area to uh, the Corpus techie area, and then you go to Mars, and it's... Is it Mars? That's deserty? Yeah, it's... it's. I'm loving it. Oh, and the lore! I oh, My God, I haven't mentioned lore. I'm mentioning lore at the end of the video. Lore should be at the front of the video. There's going to be lore, I, I hope. And I'm going to be all in the lore. I'm going to be immersed in the lore. So I got to go because now I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope I see you in Plains of Eidolon. I look forward to playing with you guys. And I will see you all in the next one.